Tina Knowles filed for divorce from Richard Lawson. Yeah, we all saw this one coming. Now available in paperback and Kindle, all about Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get all about Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. Tina Knowles has decided to divorce her husband, Richard Lawson, after eight years of marriage. Now, it had been speculated that Tina Knowles had separated from her husband a couple of weeks ago when she began to use her name, Tina Knowles, instead of Tina Knowles Lawson, and Tina Knowles was seen alone at Jay-Z's mother's wedding. Now, Tina Knowles and Richard Lawson's marriage was basically on borrowed time ever since Tina Knowles did an interview on one of these OWN network shows where she emasculated her husband on live television. I envisioned the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted. And I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love. And we're having a really good time. And I'm enjoying life. So there is hope, women. And that's when Richard Lawson knew it was over. And ever since then, most critical thinking men and women have just been counting down the clock, wondering when Tina Knowles would eventually go out here and file for divorce from her husband. And Tina Knowles just basically decided to go out here and file for divorce on Richard Lawson. And I believe the only reason why she decided to file for divorce is because she's possibly gotten her groove back. Now, in the 1995 Terry McMillan novel, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, Stella decided to go down to Jamaica and get involved with a younger man because she was just coming off a divorce and she wanted to find a rebound relationship in order to reclaim her self-confidence. And that's basically what happened here with Richard Lawson. He was the rebound guy after Tina Knowles had been married to Matthew Knowles from 1980 to 2011. And after she found out that Matthew Knowles had wound up cheating on her, Tina Knowles decided to file for divorce. And she was filing for divorce because she had an extremely bruised ego. Now, Tina Knowles' ego was bruised because she was one of these young, light-skinned, pretty women and as one of these young, light-skinned, pretty women, she was used to being elevated to a high social status in the social marketplace. And Tina Knowles thought that because she was in a high social status in the social marketplace, because of her light skin and her long flowing hair, she thought that a guy like Matthew Knowles would be grateful to have her in her life and she thought that because Matthew Knowles would be so grateful for her that he would go out here and have this undying loyalty to her and never thought that he would go out here and cheat on her. And when he, she found out that he had cheated on her, this was a major bruise to Tina Knowles' ego because as the light-skinned woman with the high social marketplace value, she thought that Matthew Knowles would never go out here and cheat but what happened was she found out that guys, when they see other women out here, they're going to go out here and want to go out here and get with those women. I mean, I believe that that's a point Ringo talks about all the time, that guys are going to go out here and see other women. And basically, that's what happened here with Matthew Knowles. He saw some other women out here, and that was the thing that upset Tina, that bruised her ego. It bruised her ego because she found out, oh, she's not the only one he was checking for her. And that really damaged her self-confidence and really shattered her self-worth. And with her self-confidence shattered and her self-worth feeling low, that's where Tina Knowles just decided to go out here and get involved with Richard Lawson. Now, Richard Lawson, according to some reports, was a guy who had a thing for Tina Knowles when he was younger. Now, Richard Lawson had been out here with his own wife at one time, 
and but his real love was for Tina Knowles and because he had this love for Tina Knowles and this crush on Tina Knowles he basically was just married to his wife and going through the motions and that's what led to his possible marriage deteriorating because he never really was loving his wife he just wanted to get with her as he settled for her and that's something simps do they will go out here and settle for one woman as they're out here pining and hoping and wishing and praying for this woman to become available and in richard lawson's older age he finally got his shot at tina knowles and that's where he thought he was going to go to live to happily ever after now richard lawson eight years ago he thought he was going to be getting with the woman of his dreams but he really wasn't getting with the woman of his dreams no what he was doing was actually taking a trip to bus downtown and he was looking at the at tina knowles in the 60% off pile and thinking he was gonna get a deal not understanding that Tina Knowles in bus downtown was not the same as Tina Knowles from college or even Tina Knowles when she was in her 20s no that Tina Knowles would, would, it would not have many of the issues that this Tina Knowles had as related to her bruised ego and with that bruised ego came a lot of baggage and that is because Tina Knowles at this point was dealing with not only the bruises to her ego, but she was also still had the spirit and DNA of Matthew Knowles inside of her. And because she had the spirit and DNA of Matthew Knowles inside of her, what happened to Tina Knowles is that she could never go out here and form a bond or a soul tie with Richard Lawson. And Richard Lawson never really connected that dot because he was so caught up in his feelings about getting the girl of his dreams from who he had a crush on when he was younger and because he was mesmerized and infatuated by the woman who he had a thing for ever since the early 80s he still saw tina knowles as the young light-skinned girl from the early 80s and didn't see the bitter older woman who was in front of him and because he kept projecting the fantasy image of who he thought Tina Knowles was, he didn't really get to see who she really was until he basically got in the house with, the, with Tina Knowles and she showed herself in the interview on the Oprah Winfrey Network show. Now, basically, Tina Knowles had changed over the last couple of years Unfortunately, Richard Lawson couldn't see how she changed, and he couldn't really see how Tina Knowles really wasn't into him. No, she only was with, getting with him because he was a rebound guy, and usually with rebound guys, the only reason that woman wants to get with you is because she wants to see if she still has it. She, ba she really just wants to see if she can go out here and still be considered fly by some guy and that's what she wanted to do with Richard Lawson she wanted to see if she still could go out here and pull a top level high value man she wanted to see if she still had all of her ability to go out here and pull fly dudes but what she really wasn't understanding was so the only thing she was pulling was her final simp because at 69 years old tina knowles just missed her last opportunity at having a relationship because i talk about this in depth in my book the woman crisis about women in bus downtown now women in bus downtown what they will do is not understand that their social part marketplace value has declined and because they don't understand their social marketplace value has declined they're still thinking they can go out here and pull another high value man after they've pulled their final simp now they'll go out here and still think that they can go out here and make a better deal and i talk about that in the chapter the quest for the better deal and after they make the deal with the final simp what they will do is think oh 
I still got it. I still got my groove. I'm still fly. And I can go out here and pull more guys, not understanding that time is running out and that this is your last chance at a relationship before you wind up leaving this earth. And instead of going out here and finding a home with their final simp, they go out here and go out here looking to make a better deal. But at the end of the day, they wind up in the middle of a raw deal where they wind up stuck in bus downtown for the rest of their final days, looking out at that view of the graveyard, which will be their final resting place. And that's what's happening here with Tina Knowles. Tina Knowles has filed for divorce, believing that she can do better than Richard Lawson, not understanding Richard Lawson was her last chance at love, last chance at a relationship, last chance as related to anything, because at 69 years old, she has basically punched her ticket to bus downtown and punched a ticket to a final resting place in apartment 8D with that view of the cemetery, because no guy out here is looking to get involved with a 69-year-old woman at that point, and no guy is going to want to be able to deal with this woman. But Tina Knowles, again, was one of these arrogant, light-skinned women who thought, oh, I've pulled this simp and got this simp to pay attention to me, got this simp to marry me, and thought she still had some time on the clock, but she doesn't understand that her clock is about to run out and that this final divorce is going to be her last chance. Now, Richard Lawson basically, on, on the other side, is getting a simp's reward, and most of these simps, they will go out here and pine for this woman, wait for her to have relationships with other men, creating a covert contract where they believe, if I wait for this woman, eventually she'll be good to me, but instead he found out why this woman was divorced the first time and why her relationship fell apart. He found out that the main reason her relationship fell apart and possibly why Matthew Knowles wound up going out here creeping was because one thing with Tina Knowles is that it seems like she has a really bad attitude and has absolutely no respect for men. And because she does not respect men, because simps have basically gassed her head up for years because she was the light-skinned fly girl, they gassed her head up, made her think she was all that, and that's why she was basically disrespectful to her husband, disrespectful to Richard Lawson, and because she could not respect men, wound up in this whole situation where she's divorcing, thinking she's going to get a better deal. But the sad part about Tina Knowles' whole situation is it basically shows me that Tina Knowles is a woman in crisis and a woman who's on the road to bus downtown and basically put herself there because after she got a divorce, files for divorce from this final simp, she's going to find herself in a whole world that is completely different than what she expected. She's going to find herself in a world where she's thinking, oh, there's going to be another guy out here who's going to want to check for me at 69. No, at 69, ain't nobody checking for no Tina Knowles. No, she ain't the young hot chick no more. She's not anybody guys were pining for at all. Again, Richard Lawson was a lucky shot. I mean, that was a very lucky shot to find a guy who would go out here and marry her at that older age. And he only married her because he was still fantasizing about being with the girl of his dreams. But once he found out that the girl of his dreams was a nightmare, that's when he decided to drop Tina Knowles and 
Basically, he was in this relationship where he was just going through the motions until she filed for divorce. And now that she's filed for divorce, she doesn't understand that this was her, she basically blew her final chance at a relationship. She blew her final chance at being with a man. And now she's on the road to becoming a woman in crisis. And as a woman in crisis, she's on the road to bus downtown. And that bus downtown road is not one any woman aspires to be on. Now, if you want to learn more about why women like Tina Knowles are winding up single at the end of their lives, you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Woman Crisis on Smashwords, the iBook store, and Google Play. And if you want to learn why so many women like Tina Knowles wind up single for the rest of their lives, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, along with The Woman Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find Why 70% of Black Women Are Single on other online booksellers like Smashworth, the iBookstore, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Target. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can send a donation to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, All About the Goddess. The Goddess Next Door bears all in the art studio to catch a campus stalker in this action-packed Isis series mystery. Get your copy of Isis, All About the Goddess in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband, why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com today. Support black-owned and black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.